Hey what's up Amnesio Cole and Nomad Group has just released the first dev blog for Watch Dogs Legion United and this first one is pretty much just a frequently asked questions page so let's go through them. Now I'm not going to be going over every single question and answer I will have it linked in the description if you want to go check all of those out but I'm just going to be going over the main ones. The first question is will you support mods in the multiplayer and the answer is yes. They stay in the early access phase we have no mod restrictions or specific handling of file modding. For the future we are considering different options like types of playing with mods. The next question is what is included in early access? Early access will allow you to play with up to 32 people in a specific closed down area in free for all mode. That means everyone is fighting against everyone. For now, this only includes MP5s and pistols. Features like hacking, melee, and takedowns are not enabled yet. As mentioned in the announcement post, we want to use the early access phase to stress test our multiplayer implementation. We want to check our performance and stability and see if any bugs occur. We plan to release additional features such as improving synchronization or adding missing features like melee or takedown. The next question is, are you using the game's original multiplayer or are you doing synchronization with your own methods? Our synchronization does not use built-in multiplayer from the game and does not require any Ubisoft services, except the usage of Ubisoft Connect which is required to start the game. From a technological point of view, while Legion Online uses peer-to-peer -peer networking, Legion United is implementing client and server architecture. One of our core concepts is something that we call server-side state awareness, which means the server is fully aware of what is happening within the game world and will expose that information to our scripting layer. Well that sounded really cool because personally, I really don't like Ubisoft services. So it's nice that they're going to be providing their own. The next question is, when will the early access phase end? This is not entirely clear yet. It depends on the amount of issues that we encounter and if we need to address them immediately. However, we aim to end early access during summer slash end of summer 2022. What can we expect after the early access? After the early access has concluded, we want to release a new major version featuring a vehicle synchronization and the release of dedicated servers, allowing the launch of community servers. And honestly, this is probably my favorite part of Watch Dogs Legion United because it gives it that kind of longevity that you just don't get anymore. Like with old source games like Gmod and CSGO, you have all these community servers that are community run, not run by the first party or in this case, the third party. I really think dedicated servers will be a game changer for Legion. The next question is, will you release the mod on consoles? Unfortunately not, developing for consoles has always been quite a challenge and requires a decent amount of time. Furthermore, it's also not technically possible due to the way this modification is built and interacts with the game. Additionally, implementing those things on console will require us to agree to requirements of Sony and Microsoft, which we cannot fulfill. Will there be a map editor? Yes and no. We already have shipped a map editor with the script hook, allowing you to place new objects into the world. We have plans to enhance that map editor, allowing you to export the map creations in a better format for use in the multiplayer mod. Looking into the future, we could implement additional features such as removing or repositioning existing map objects. However, please note that this will be limited to a certain extent due to the way the game's maps are built and due to certain technical limitations. And for the last question that I'm gonna be going over today, what do you mean with a community project? We want everyone to contribute and shape the future of this mod. Your requests for certain features help us make decisions on which things work and which things to implement next. We also want to ask you to share any creations you have on Curse Forge so that we can build up a solid resource catalog for helping new players who join the Watch Dogs community. So yeah, that was the first development blog for Watch Dogs Legion United. Again, I didn't go over all of the questions, although I will have this article linked in the description if you want to go check it out. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on this update down in the comment section below or if you have any questions, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.